hello friends welcome to today's tutorial today we are going to learn about the messaging system so this is the introduction part and uh, let's see what are the things we are going to cover in this uh, uh, tutorial the very first thing we will look the goal then we will see the background then at the end we will see what is the messaging system so let us cover one by one each topic so start with the goal what is the goal for this we have to design distributed messaging system that can reliably transfer a high throughput of messages between the different entities so basically we need to uh, design some uh, distributed messaging system that is uh, that can be capable of transferring the high messages between the two different entities or it can be two different processes or the services now if i talk about the background one of the common challenges among the distributed system is to handling a continuous influx of the data from the multiple sources what it means that uh, if there is sudden rise in the traffic on uh, or traffic on some particular website so you will receive like server service or the system will receive lot number of the data uh, compared to the normal day a lot number of the data so that is the major challenges so let us imagine a log aggregation service that is receiving the 100 of log entries entries per seconds from different sources the function of this log aggregation service is to store these logs on the disk as at a shared server and also build an index so that the log can be searched later later so here we assume a one service uh, which we name as aggregation service the purpose of this service is like uh, it is uh, storing the logs messages on the disk at the uh, like shared server at the same time we also build an index on top of it so that it can be easily searched uh, all the logs what whatever is stored but still there are the few challenges of this service so let us cover one by one the very first challenge is how will the log aggregation service service handle a spike of messages suppose suddenly there is a sudden rise in the number of the messages then how this service will handle that scenario if the service can handle or buffer the 500 messages per second then what will happen if it is start receiving the higher number of the messages per second <clears throat> okay so now uh, if we decide to have the multiple instance of the log aggregation service how do we divide the work among these instances for time being let us consider that we have created the uh, a number of the services like we have run the two more services to handle this rise in the messages but again there is a challenge how will you divide the work among, among these status instances instances right the second challenge what is there with this service is how can we receive the messages from the different type of the sources the source producing or consuming this these logs needs to decide upon a common protocol and data format to send the log messages to the log aggregation service so the second challenge is how will you handle the uh, messages which is coming from the different sources okay so we need to plan or we need to de uh, set uh, some type of the rules or protocols uh, which is applicable throughout all these services so that it can be easily handle uh, the all the messages so this leads to uh, us to the strongly coupled architecture but between the producer and the consumer of log messages the third challenge is what we are facing is what will happen to the log messages if the log aggregation service is down or unresponsible for some time so the third scenario is like third challenge is that how will you handle the situation when your services goes down due to some power cut or some blackout or something or your website become or service become unresponsible then how will you handle this scenario <coughs> to efficiently manage such scenarios distributed system depends upon the messaging system so all this to handle all these scenarios the distributed system is uh, depends upon the messaging system so messaging system comes into the picture to handle or tackle such scenarios so let us understand what is messaging system a messaging system is responsible for transferring the data among the services applications processes or the server so basically it is responsible for transferring the data between the services or the application or the processes or the server such a system helps decouple the different parts of the distributed system by providing the asynchronous way of transferring the messaging between the senders and the receivers so basically decouple uh, the whole system 
so if some system goes down it will not create any impact on the other system that is the main purpose of decoupling so messaging system is the completely different and um, our sender and receives, uh, receiver server will host it or deploy in the some other server so that is the purpose of messaging system and messaging system is play a role to handling all the messages which is coming from the sender and then it sent to the receiver end so that is the purpose so hence all the centers or the producer receive receive the receive previous receivers or the consumer focus on the data messages without worrying about the mechanism used to share the data so the what problem this messaging system handle is that like if you are the some sender uh, sender party and the some other like receiver party they have not to concentrate on the messaging part like how the messages get transferred from one point to the other point so that problem is solved by the messaging system this all transferring protocols and all the process and the rules is handled by the messaging system and that is completely decoupled it is isolated it is hosted on the different server it is not coupled with the sender or receiver so that is the use benefit or that is the bit benefit of the messaging system now come to the next there are two common ways to handle the messaging system we have the queuing and the publish publish subscribe subscribe right there are two ways to handle this messages either you go for the queuing purpose and or you can go the publish subscribe uh, uh, method so let us discuss about the queue in the queuing queuing model messages are stored sequentially in the queue producer pushes the messages to the rear of the rear a rear of the queue and the consumer extract the messages from front of the queue so what it means like a uh, first like what it means like q is same like if you know any of the programming language so you definitely load how the q works so the person which come first they will get served first right first in first out process so that is the uh, purpose of the q so a par uh, a particular message can be consumed by the maximum of one consumer only there is a limitation on the queue messaging system that one one message can only be consumed by one consumer multiple consumer cannot consume the same messages right so once a consumer grab a message it is removed from the queue such that the next consumer will get the next message so this is the great model for distributing messaging process among the multiple consumers but this also limits the system as the multiple consumers cannot read the same messages from the queue so that is the the one limitation in this uh, uh, queuing a uh, messaging system that multiple consumers cannot read the same messages so once it consumed or once it grab by some particular consumer then it cannot be available for the other consumers now if i talk about the public subscribe messaging system in the public subscribe like for the public subscribe model messages are divided into the topics so in this case messages are divided into the topics and the publisher or the producer send a message to the topic and that gets stored in the messaging system under the topic so here the uh, the major thing is topic so when the producer send any message it send is to the topic and it is stored in the topic now the subscribers or the consumers subscribe to that particular topic to receive the every messages published to that uh, particular topic so this is the benefit unlike the queuing model the public subscribe model allow the multiple consumers to get the same messages so this is the uh, one of the major benefit by using the public subscribe messages like if you have the requirement that one message can be published can be consumed by the multiple sources of com multiple consumers then you should prefer the public public subscribe messaging system so that is the one of the major advantage over the queuing uh, messaging system now if two consumers subscribe to the same topic they will receive all the messages published to that particular topic so this is the one uh, sequence like uh, some diagram you can understand like one there is a producer one producer two it is sending the message five sending the message six and it is goes to publish it is consumed by consumer one two three all these things the messaging system that stores and maintain the messages is complete commonly known as the message broker okay so that is the message broker which is responsible for storing the messages or and is sending it to the consumers we call it message broker 
it provides a loose coupling between the publisher and subscribers or the producer or the consumers of the data a message broker store stores the published message in the queue and the subscriber reads reads read them from the queue hence the subscriber and the publisher do not have to be synchronized okay in this case uh, once the producer send the message it get stored in the message message broker and so that it is independent independent from the consumer so it might be possible like consumer is not available at that point uh, when the message is get published to the message broker so once it get available it can consume it from the message broker so at this point it is not uh, like both the producer and consumer should be synchronized together so that is the main advantage of using this message broker and it is completely decoupled from both the producers and the consumer this loose coupling enable for enables the subscriber and the publisher to read and write the message at different rates right the messaging system ability ability to store the messages provides full tolerance so the messages do not get lost between the time they are produced and the time they are consumed so that is one of the major advantage is that it provides the it keep the full guarantee that messages not going to be lost full tolerance ability we can achieve by using with that because if you have the two processes two services running and one is like publishing the messages or sending some data to the consumer end but consumer is done at that point of the time at this point the message will get lost but with the help of this publish subscribe like messaging broker since the messaging broker is the separate entity compared to the consumer or the producer so whatever the message come from the producer it will get a store in the different server so that is the message broker and once the consumer is available then that message will be published or consumed by the consumer so in this whole scenario the data is not going to be loose or lost so with the help of this we can achieve the fault tolerance now to summarize the messaging system is deployed in an application a stack for the following reason okay at the end to summarize a messaging message system is deployed in the in an application stack for the following reason the first one is messaging on buffering to provide the buffering mechanism in the front of processing that is to deal with the temporary incoming message spike that are greater than what the processing app can deal with so this enable the system to safely deal a safe safely deal with the spikes in the workload by the temporary storing the data until it is ready for processing second advantage is like it guarantee of the message delivery allow the pro producer to publish the messages with assurance that messages will eventually be delivered if if the consuming application is unable to receive the message when it is published the another advantage is like providing the abstractions a messaging system provide an architectural separation between the consumer of messages and the application which is producing the messages and at the last it is enabling the scale enabling the scale provide the flexibility and the highly configurable architectures that can enable the many producer to deliver the messages to the multiple consumers so the these are the introduction part of like messaging system how all the things work what are the goals and what are the advantages of using the messaging system and how many types of the messaging systems are available out there so that is all about this tutorial so see you in the next tutorial goodbye